what keeps all the planets and the satellites in their particular position related to each other. So students, here you can understand the meaning of gravitation. It is the mutual force of attraction acting between any two bodies of any mass that exist in the universe. And anything you throw up will eventually come downwards. Why? So, what is gravity again? You can see the pictures. If anyone jumps upwards, maybe a high jumper or anyone else, eventually falls downward, right? A ball being thrown upwards will also come downwards finally. So, what exactly is gravity then? So students, let us understand, gravity is simply a force with each planet pulls an object towards its center. The planet instead can also be understood as any heavenly body. And we are here in Earth, that's why we can take the reference of the planet Earth for us to understand gravity here. And uh, like the way we have felt magnet and the force around a magnet to a particular distance in all directions in the same pattern, a heavenly body also can produce and so its influence of its force of attraction on other bodies. That's why gravitational field is the total space around a body especially let's say a heavenly body up to which its gravitational force can be experienced. So some consequences of gravity and gravitation, you simply can have a look at it. Newton's universal law of gravitation. Please have a look at this statement students. The force of attraction acting between any two bodies in this universe is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. So according to this statement, we can see over here that a diagram is made representing the mass of first body with capital letter M and mass of second body with capital small letter M and D being the distance between their centers and F being the force of attraction between these two bodies. And representation is in this form F is directly proportional to capital M times the small m means if you increase the mass of first body or mass of both the bodies also doesn't matter then the force of attraction will also increase and if you reduce the mass or masses then the force of attraction will also be reduced that is what the meaning can be understood and second one is inversely proportional relationship with the square of the distance that means if you reduce the distance then what happens is that the force of attraction will increase whereas if you if you increase the distance between these two bodies then the force of attraction will decrease and a common formula uh, to be established that is a relationship to be established f equals to gmm by d squared and students this is also asked to you in the examinations for 2.0 marks as well so for this first of all you have to begin with solution and this particular drawing that clearly specifies every aspect like capital M for ma bigger mass, small letter M for small mass, D being the distance between the two centers and capital letter F representing the force of attraction between the two bodies and this should be also written in the form of a small paragraph as shown. Now according to Newton's universal law of gravitation we can write the following relationship F is directly proportional to mass of the two bodies and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between these two centers. And we have to combine these equations, students. Here is proportional sign. Because of that proportional sign, on the left side, whatever is the common factor that we write only once. Here is also F and in the second equation also there you can see F. That's why F is written. And then the proportional sign. And the right side of equation 1 is M times M and the right side of second equation is 1 by d squared when these two terms are multiplied then we get 
capital M small m divided by d squared that is how we have got this equation over here and we have here or f equals to gmm by d squared what does it mean please understand over here what we need to understand is that g is the proportionality constant in order to remove this proportional sign with equal to sign we need a constant that constant is here capital g that is written here in the numerator side that's a rule and in our case in this formula it is the universal gravitational constant it is universal gravitational constant students you have to understand this and hence the formula f equals to g m by d squared is proved so what is the unit of g let us have a look at it we have that f equals to g m by d squared that is and then it gives that g equals to f d square by capital m small m therefore unit of g is equal to newton meter squared divided by kg squared this can also be written as newton meter squared for kg squared or even we can write this like this newton meter squared for kg squared this is how we can write and the meaning of g let us have a look at it dear students f equals to gmm by d squared we know and consider this that the mass of first body is also equal to 1 kg mass of second body is also equal to 1 kg and distance between these two bodies is also 1 meter that means all values are in unit values under this case what we can understand under this case what we can understand is that f becomes equals to g times 1 times 1 divided by 1 squared so that finally gives the value f equals to g this is how students what we can understand is that universal gravitational constant is the force of attraction acting between any two bodies of unit mass is that are separated by unit distance that is what is even represented by this diagram